Hi everyone. Hello. Hello teacher. How are you? Nice. Oh, that is good. How was your day today? Did you work hard today, Alexis? Okay, I'm asking you if you work hard today, it was really difficult for you today working. Si fue difícil trabajar ahora, si estuvo duro. Un poco, un poco el de verlo. Ah, ok. A little bit. Good evening. Good evening, how are you? I am fine. Ok, Good nice. Evening. Nice. Ready to start waiting just for the rest of participants. Are you ready for the session that we are going to have after 10? I guess the Rosa is one of the participants that is gonna to be today with us, right? Manuel Rodriguez, how are you? I'm fine teacher, and you? I'm ready to start. Just waiting for the rest. Yes, you're ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Roxana Bautista, how are you? Um. How was your day? Right. How was your day? Um, normal. Normal? Okay. Okay, Diana Carolina, how are you? Hi, teacher. Um, I uh, tired. 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 
Tire. 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 Así. No. Tire. 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 Yeah, almost close. Yeah. Pero. Lo veo. Ajá, lo veo. Tire. Yeah, tire. Lo voy a repasar. Lo voy a repasar. Okay, nice, nice. Yeah, it's really nice. Fernandez, how are you? Very good, teacher. And you? Here, ready to start. Okay, teacher. Yeah. Sometimes it's really difficult, but we have to to do to to give our best in order to, uh, that the class uh, can uh, keep going and uh, you can understand what we are going to study today. I'm trying to speak uh, in a slow way in order that all of you can understand what I'm saying. And I, I believe that in this third section, uh, you have a, a better a better chance to, to understand what I'm saying. Every day that is passing, you are understanding more and more and more, right? Maybe at the beginning was really difficult and you, you felt frustrated at the beginning, but right now you, you feel better. And at the end of the course, it's going to be the best for you. I believe in that. I got only nine. And we had eight, five past eight. I'm still waiting for the rest. I know that sometimes it's really hard to be sitting two hours. In I do really sorry. I got a problem with my internet service, but I'm here again. I don't know what is happening. We got 10. What can you tell me about the, your day? How was your day? Do you want to share with me some activities that you were doing during the day? Was kind of busy? or normal, I don't know. Hello, sir, how are you? Welcome back. Fine, and you teacher, how are you? Sorry, waiting, but- Waiting I, for you, waiting for you, my a... friend. Uh, I uh, just I arriving. I went to the chore. Oh, uh, yes, just that arriving is, at home. Sorry, that, sorry, but that is really good. We are here. Yeah. Yeah. To talk with God. That is really important. Yeah. Yeah. How was your day? It was busy. It was all the way, all the way. And my job always we have to do many things that yeah. the boss always always says it was for yesterday. We have to, to run to do it every day on time. Yeah. And how, many, you, how how many hours do you work in a day? I every day I wake up, I grab a 
5 a.m. and I go to my job fine and 30 minutes. Yeah. In the, in the morning, uh, every day, and I uh, my job finish every day for and 30 minutes. Oh, really? And I arriving at home at 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Yeah. That means that you had two hours in order to rest. Yeah. In order to be ready for the class, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that is ready. good. What about the rest as a student? How do you feel today? Eliani, welcome back. I didn't see you yesterday. Good evening. Good evening. Um, how are you? Nice, and you? Um, good. What about yesterday? I didn't see you. Um, I hate, no. Um, I have... A dolor de cabeza. A headache? Headache. Yeah, a headache. Headache. Ah, that means that you took a painkiller. Excuse me? Pain. That means that you took some painkiller, like Tylenol mm -hmm. or, I don't know, a different kind of pill. No, escucho bien. Pain, painkiller, painkiller. When somebody got a headache, we used to to taste some pill with water in order to to cut the 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 pain that we have in our head. It is called painkiller. Uh, okay, I take um, a migraine. Okay. And after that, you, you rest and sleep. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no problem. Thank you. Okay, welcome back. Walter Mauricio, how are you? Hello, Walter. Hello, teacher. Excuse me. Good evening. Good evening. How Hello. are you? Um, I'm very difficult. Um, como se dice mucho en inglés, teacher, se me olvidó. A lot. A lot, war. Um, made in department. Uh, three hours. Uh, uh, four for three hours and difficult. I know. Yes, yes. It's really difficult sometimes. Yes, and that is difficult. Today was really difficult for you, right? Um, it's problem um, templates. And I'm not checking email and problems and <clears throat> and entregar uh, templates. Deliver, deliver, deliver. Yep. Deliver, deliver and, and templates. Okay. Oh. Fausto Antonio, could you please do on your camera? Yeah, 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 yeah. Fausto, Very how are you, Fausto? Very well. Are you ready? Yeah, uh, yeah, ready. Okay, how was your day? Tell us. Uh, my day, um, a little heavy. Little heavy? Yeah. Okay. Um, um, I prepared um, a lot of purchase order. 
um, check check uh, uh, all of that. Okay. Okay. Nice. What yeah. about you, Ada Arevalo? How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Okay. I'm fine. Thank okay. You. How do you feel today? Mm. How do you feel today? <laughs> ya no me acuerdo qué significa eso, teacher. Lo how siento. Do you, how do you feel today? ¿Cómo se siente hoy? Mm. Um, I, I am, ¿cómo se dice? Cansada. Tired? Mm -hmm. Okay. Repeat, I am tired. I am tired. I am tired. I am tired. I feel tired. Okay. Enara Garcia, could you please turn on your camera? Yeah, we need to see your face. Yeah, okay. Hi, how are you? How are you? Nice, waiting for you. Remember that I need to see all your faces. I need to see all your faces. I got 14. <laughs> I'm still Grange. 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 Great. Great. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay. That's right. Excellent. Let me see somebody else that is missing. Carla. How are you, Carla? Hi. Good evening. I am tired. You are tired? A lot of a lot of activity a lot in my of, work. A lot of activity in your work. Okay. Yes. Well, we're gonna try to do this class uh, more relaxed for you. And you are going to participate in order that you can fall asleep. Yeah, in front of the computer. I need that you be active, participating. And that way we are going to learn each other, okay? Well, I got only asked 14 participants. Let me start. I do to discuss. Okay, today we are going to talk about something similar that we talked yesterday about company identity. And our objective is gonna be this. I will be able to discuss and write about the reputation of my company. And we are going to talk about the word reputation. What is reputation for you? Somebody can give me a concept about it. Hello. Hello, teacher. What is the what, what what is the meaning of the word re reputation? About my company? Yeah, talking about company. Oh, it's really, really important because when a company has has a good reputation, uh, it can make business with another company because his, her, his reputation. Teacher, if I talk about the company, 
Yeah. The, I can say his, her. It's reputation. It's re reputation. Yeah. It's, it's ne necessary always yeah. because many people can see when um, comply about lawyer um, around the country or around the world. Okay. That's why the, the that second question, question, thank you. The second question say, how do you, how do you business build their reputation? Somebody else? How do business build their re reputation? How they do in order to build their reputation? When you need to buy, a, for example, a computer, you see maybe uh, different places, but suddenly you trust only in one and you say, no, I'm going to buy it in this place because they are going to give me a warranty for a year. But if I buy it in the, another place, they are not going to be responsible for the computer. In that way, we are talking about reputation. But how do business build their reputation is the question. How do business build their reputation? Yep. How do business build? Many, many business teachers, because if the uh, talking about computer. Yeah, could be computer, cell phone. Many, many places can offer you a good product, but depend about guarantee, quality, price, and you choose the better price. Yeah, okay. okay. And even uh, what, what they offer to, to clients, because sometimes they said, if you buy uh, a computer, we can give you this, or we are going to uh, give you another scene. Yeah, and that way people start believing in them and they are they are building their reputation. If suddenly a product uh, is not working in the right way and you go and, and talk with them and they say, okay, we are going to repay it. But in, in another places, they say, no, we don't have uh, to do anything about it. You can take it to another place. And the last question say, what is the reputation of the place you work for? Talking about your place, where do you work? It has a good reputation, a regular. Very good teacher. What can you tell me about it? An excellent reputation. Excellent, because uh, uh, our top banana teacher, the, the boss of the boss, or the jefe de jefe, how do you say in English? Yeah, yeah, the boss. He the always, chairman. always, yeah, chairman. The he chairman. always uh, told us that when, uh, when the company starts, uh, he make, he made business with another company Companies. only with giving his hand. Oh, because okay. he, he always he always told us uh, the reputation we can work all our life and build that, build it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but we can lose it in five seconds. Yeah, yeah, that is true. When, when, okay. when a company has a good reputation, sometimes you don't need to sign any paper. Just 
your work is enough and they say, okay, we are going to buy this and they do it. That is pretty good. Yeah. Okay, somebody else wants to talk about reputation in your companies or in the place where you work? Imagine that you work in a body shop. Do you know what is a body shop? Do you know the meaning of the word body shop? No? Body shot is the play where cars are fixed. That is called body shot. The play where cars are fixed. We call it body shot. In Spanish, what is body shot? Mechanic work in body shop. What is a body shop? The mechanic work in a body shop. What is body shop? ¿Dónde trabaja un mecánico? Taller. Auto repair shop. Taller, unos autorepuestos. Ok, the first word that you said is called body shop. I'm going to take my car to the body shop. Workshop? Yeah, body shop. Es body, el, body, body, body shop. Body shop, es el taller. El taller. But, but talking about body shop, imagine that you need to repair your car and somebody advise you to take your car to a specific place and you pay uh, $500. Alguien te recomienda un lugar y te dice, va, llévalo a tal parte y te cobran $500. And after a week, the car continues with the same problem. Después de una semana, el carro continúa con el mismo problema. What about the reputation of the play? Are you going back and talk with the, with the person mm -hmm. in charge? And if the body should have a good reputation, they are going to repair your car again, and you don't need to pay more money. Yeah, that is reputation. Somebody want to say something about this? No? Remember that we are talking about reputation in business. But this word also we can apply to person. Esa palabra también aplica para personas, la reputación de alguien, you know? Yes. Is is clear the the word reputation? Or not? No. We are we are having a sun connection problem. Mm. I don't know what is happening. Are you there, all of you? I don't see your cameras on. I feel that I'm that I am alone because I, I don't see your cameras on. Okay, sent to God, you are back. 
Welcome back, Karen. I'm waiting the rest of you that to on your cameras. Okay, let us check out the attendance for today. Let me see how many of you are connected. Rosa Esperanza. Okay, presente. Present, okay. <laughs> Genara Inés. Presente. Present. Present. Margarita Estefan. Present. Gutierrez Sánchez. Gutierrez Sánchez. Is ausent? No, ahí está. Gutierrez Sánchez. Karen Yesenia. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, Ada Daisy. Present. I don't see your face. I don't see your face. I need to see your face. Okay. Diana Carolina. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Wilfredo. Present teacher. Leslie Fernandez. Present teacher. Francisco Javier. Francisco Javier. Edward Ademir. Edward. Alexis Antonio. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Felicita Cruz. Felicita, Felicita. Alexis Antonio. Present teacher. Okay. And Christian Julio, right? Felicita is not present. Um, Helen Maria. Helen Maria is not here. Ana Roxana. Roxana. Christian. Okay, Roxana. Fausto. Present teacher. Carla Marielos. Present. Okay, thank you. Uh, Margarita Mejibar Contreras. Mengíbar Contreras. Mengíbar Contreras. No. Eliani Alejandra. Present. Walter Mauricio. Present. And Manuel Alejandro. Present teacher. Okay. Well, okay, going back to the topic that we have for today, we are going to take a look at this conversation that we have here. And we are going to listen. I'm going to read the conversation and then uh, we are going to practice with somebody else, okay? The conversation is between Daniel and Jessica. I'm going to read it in a slowly way. 
So, Jessica, what does your company do? At Rix, we produce clothes for kids. I see. And what is Rex known for? Rex is known for the mother's design and the quality of the cloth we make. Great. And are you happy to work for Rex? Absolutely. Rex is recognized as a very prestigious company. Their personnel is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica, you are right. Rick is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Are you following me? Oops, let me see here again, okay. Okay, I'm gonna read it again and I need that you listen carefully because later, later we are, you are going to practice with somebody else, okay? Again, so Jessica, what does your company do? At Rick's, we produce cloth for kids. I see, and what is Rick's known for? Rick is known for the modern design in the quality of the clothes we make. Great. And are you happy to work for Rick's? Absolutely. Rick's is recognized as a very prestigious company. Their personnel is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. You are right. Rick is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Okay. Now uh, I'm going to count, count from one to, to three and you are going to start reading. Okay, one, two, three, do it. Hello. Hello. I need that you understand what I'm saying. I'm going to count from one to three. Voy a contar de uno a tres, and you are going to start reading the conversation. Is that clear? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. One, two, three. So Jessica. Oh, so Jessica. Jessica. What does your company do? Company do? At Rick's, we produce clothes for kids. For kids. Yes. I see. And what is your Okay, as you can see, uh, everyone doing in the in your own pace. In this case, let me see how many students do we have. Hey, teacher. Hello? Me? Do you want to practice with somebody else? Hey, Jessica. Okay, the rest of people that are not going to participate, just mute your microphone. And only just uh, the two that are going to read it, just keep it on, please. Okay, volunteers? Uh, I'm here, teacher. Okay, you, you wanna be, you are going to be Daniel, right? 
Okay. And I need Jessica. I. Who wants to be Jessica? Uh, your teacher. Okay, go ahead. Uh, so Jessica, what does your company do? At Rex, we produce products for kids. I see. And um, what is Rex not for? Rex is not for the modern science and the quality of the products we make. Great. And are you happy to work to Rex? Absolutely. Absolutely. Rex is reconocible a very prestigious company. Their personal is important for them. For them. Congratulations, Jessica. You are you right, Rex is rated as one of the same most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Okay, thank you. I'm going to read it again. Just uh, pay attention. I'm going to do it in a slowly way. So Jessica, what does your company do? At Rex, we produce cloth for kids. I see. And what is Rex known for? Rex is known for the modern design and quality for the clothes we make. Great. And are you happy to wear for Rex, absolutely. Rex is recognized as a very prestigious company. Their personnel is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica, you are right. Rex is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Okay. Are you familiar with the pronunciation of each word in this conversation? So, so. Hello, teacher. Okay, I, I I consider that all of you got the the manual for for today. I'm going to stop sharing, and we are going to practice. Let me see how many people do we have. Sixteen. Okay, we are going to use the let me see let me see what we're going to do we are going to break cut break our run and you are going to practice let me okay so please uh be careful and participate with your pattern that you are going to have what you are going to do is practice the conversation right okay here we go you had two minutes to do it Okay, I need that all of you join in your room and practice the conversation, please.
Hello, teacher. Okay, I'm here. Uh, um, only how, how was your how, how was your conversation with with your partner? Eh, me quedé solo. Quizá la persona que me asignó no pudo se le habrá cortado y yo solo me quedé. Oh. Me quedé, I'm pregnant. And you? Okay. Okay. I, I don't know why uh, that usually happens that some people just stay alone. But you need to get familiar with this platform in order that uh, when I assign a breakout, uh, a breakout room, I need that all of you participate. That is the main purpose. Okay, uh, we, we, we can do it, uh, Walter. Uh, excuse me, teacher. Would you like to do it with me? Okay. You are going to be Daniel. Okay. Okay, go ahead. You, you, uh, can, you can use my own name. Instead of Jessica, you can say, so Max. Okay, okay. So, Max, what do your company do? At Rex, we produce clothes for kids. I see, and um, what is Rex known for? Rex is known for the modern design and the quality of the clothes we make. Great. Are you happy to work for Rex? Absolutely. Rec is recognized as a very prestigious company. Their personnel is important for them. Congratulations, Max. You are right. Rex is great and one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Okay, great. Okay, the last time I'm gonna read it again. So please, I need that you pay attention in some word that are uh, a kind of difficult for you. I'm gonna read it again. Please stay, pay attention. So Jessica, what does your company do? At Rex, we produce cloth for kids. I see. And what is Rex known for? Rex is known for the modern design in the quality of the clothes we make. Great. And are you happy to work for Rex? Absolutely. Rex is recognized as a very prestigious company. Their personnel is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica, you are right. Rex is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Okay. Any question about this conversation? Okay, teacher. Okay. Any question? Any question? Eh, sí, teacher, disculpe, podría repetir el, el último párrafo. Uh, from Daniel? Por favor. Congratulations, Jessica. You're right. Rex is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Could you read it for me, Diana? Congratulations, Jessica. You're right. Rex is rated. Rated has one of the 10 most prestigious company in El Salvador. Okay, Re remember that when we are talking with somebody else, we, we put uh, our feeling in the conversation. Congratulations, Jessica, you are right. Yeah, Rec okay. is ready at uh, one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. You need to feel the energy, the power, yeah? Okay. I know that it's, it's night and that we are tired, but we need to we need we, we need to try to do our best, you know. Okay, something else? Somebody else?
Teacher, yo solo quería saber cómo se pronunciaba en el penúltimo párrafo eh, lo que está sombreado en negro, que dice is, is recognized. Y recognized. Is recognized. Recognized. Is recognized. Recognized as a very prestigious company. Repeat. Is recognized. Is recognized as a very prestigious company. Is a very prestigious company. Okay. So, Maria. Yeah. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Any question? Any question? Okay, let us worry next is a number three pair words. Say if the statement below are true or false. I'm gonna read it. People know Rex produce clothes with modern design for kids. Is that true or false? True. True? Yes. Okay. Oh. Number two. People know Rex manufacture quality clothes for key. Uh, true. True. It is true? Yes. Okay, based on the conversation yes. that we have. Okay, number three. People see Rex as a prestigious company. Uh, true. And the last one, number four, people Ray true. Rex, uh, one of the 20 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Uh, false. 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 Okay, Diana, you are right. Because in that conversation mentioned that is one of the 10 yeah. most prestigious and right here said that is one of the 20 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Congratulations, you are paying attention. That is really important. Right here, you can find some videos about expression that describe company reputation. You can do it later you just uh, click on the link and you are going to have an extra information about reputation. And also uh, right here, we can have an explanation about the for and meaning of the passive vote that I'm going to explain you in the next exercise that we are going to do. And also in this link, you are going to see some exercises to practice writing passive voice statement. As you can see, the letters in, in bold, this expression is known for. What is the meaning of this expression in Spanish? Conocido por. Okay. Rec is known for the model design and the quality of the clothes we make. It's recognized as a very prestigious company. What's the meaning? Reconocido. Yep. Como una prestigiosa compañía. Reconocido. Okay. What about the last one? It's rated as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Rex is calificada como una de las diez más calificada. Okay. Okay, I need that you. Okay, I'm sorry. I need that you pay a special attention of the ending of this word in Spanish. You say calificada, reconocida, conocida. How do we call in uh, in grammar to the ending? ¿Cómo le llamaríamos ya en gramática esas terminaciones? Adjectives. No. Because the, the, these are verbs. Estos son verbos. Okay, but don't worry. I'm going to explain you.
Okay, hold on a second. Adjetivo calificativo? No. No. No, because we are talking about verbs. Uh, most of the verb we have a simple Pass present. Verb, teacher. Pass okay. verb. Excuse me? Pass. Pass? You're talking a pass of the verb? Mm, no. But you need to add a, a word. We have simple present. We have simple past and we have past participle. Yeah, it's very different. I eat, I ate, I have eaten. It's very different way. Yeah? That's it. I, I play football. I played, I played football. I have played football for five years. Mm. I'm using the verb play yeah. in three different ways. Yes, but don't worry about grammar topics, okay? okay. That expression is called passive voice. We have active voice and also we have passive voice. Imagine that I said, uh, Maria cook a chicken. Do you understand this sentence? Maria yes. cooks a chicken. Cook. Yes. Yeah? And now I need to yes. use it. I need to use passive voice. And we are going to ask a question. What Maria cook? Chicken. Ah, the word chicken is going to be at the beginning. A chicken is cooked by Maria. By Maria. Yeah, yeah that is called passive okay. voice, yeah? Okay. Mario Payne. The house. What Mario paints? The house. Is, Mario. No, the house is. The, the house is paint. Paint. Painted. 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 By Mario. By Mario. If we if, if we want to mention the action. Okay. Let us see right here. Contrast the sentence involved from the dialogue in exercise two in the sentences in exercise three. We already see it. Which sentences emphasize the door of the action no recognize and raise? What is the meaning of the word door? The door. The door of the action. What is door? Doors. Door is the person who performed the action. People. Could be the person who performed the action, but in this case, uh, we are talking about a company. Yeah? Worker teacher. Yeah, could How be. Do say doors. But, yeah. Excuse me? Uh, the, um, what the meaning doors? Is, the door? I, I use my translator. is hacedora o hacedora. Mm, el que hace la or acción. What? Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And which sentences emphasize the action to be known for, to be recognized of, to be raised of? Exercise two or exercise three? We need to take care about that. But let me uh, 
Let me share with you. I'm going to stop sharing this. And we need to pay a special attention when we talk about passive. Yeah, active and passive voice. Uh, another example could be, Mary drives a new car. It's an update. Mary drives a new car. How am I going to do in order to switch into passive voice? ¿Cómo voy a hacer para transferirla a voz pasiva? I'm going to ask myself a question. What does Mary drive? ¿Qué es, lo que maneja, ¿Qué es lo que maneja María? Un carro. A, 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 new, new, car. a new car is... Un nuevo carro. Is... Drive. Mm. Drive. Drive. Mm -hmm. By Mary. We need to know uh, irregular verbs in three different times. Drive, draw, teacher, teacher, I, ha I have a question. Teacher. Okay, go ahead. When you make the passive voice, Passive voice. Uh, we use the passive verb. We, we use the past participle of the verb. Past participle. Yeah, past participle oh, okay. of the verb. I'm going to share with you uh, some slices that I have here in order that you can have a, a better idea what we are talking about. It. Let me see. Here we go. Can you see it? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. The passive voice. When we talk about passive in the causative, general information about four basic form of the passive. Listen, in the active voice, the subject of the verb is the person or scene that does the action. En la voz activa, el sujeto del verbo es la persona que hace la acción. John bought the dinner last night. Yeah, John burned the dinner last night. You know what is this word, burnt? Yeah. Quemó. Yeah. Se le quemó la cena. In the passive boy, the action is done to the subject. En la voz pasiva, la acción es hecha a quién? El sujeto. Ah, ok. Mire, entonces oh, dice, yeah. the dinner was burned last night. Last, last night. night. Yeah. And we don't need to mention John. No necesitamos mencionar a John. We form the passive with the suitable form of B plus past par participle. Something that uh, somebody asked me this question. We are going to use the form of B. What is the form of B? Could be is, are, which one? What else? Or am. The three form must be plus mm -hmm. the past participle. Only bear we stay. Let me see, let me see. I need to go back. Okay. We are talking about transitive verb that you are going to know exactly what is the meaning of this word later. Can go into the passive voice. The dinner was born, but no. The plane was a right. Do you understand these two examples? The dinner was burned, but no, the plane was a right. Se comprende? Not teacher. When yes, sir. No? please. Okay, Not right here, remember, remember what we already studied. 
In passive voice, the action is done to the subject. In this case, the subject is dinner, right? Mm -hmm. The dinner was burned. But what about in this case? The plane was arrived. Is that true or not? No, because if we may send all these sentences, the plan was arrived. It's not, it's not correct to use this auxiliary here. But let me explain you in a in a in a different way. Let us let us refer the number three. Basic basic tense form are a tense of B plus past participle. For example, in present, we say uh, he writes. And right here, it is written because written is the past participle of write. What about past? He wrote, wrote. it was written. written. Yeah, it is the same because this is past participle. In present or past perfect, he has or had written, it has or had been written. But don't worry about this present and past perfect because it's not in your level right now, but maybe you are going to have a, a clear idea later. In basic model form are model plus be plus had been plus past participles. For example, he will write, it will be written. May, he may write or it may be written. May have, he may have written, it might have been written, etc., etc. Et that means right here, every time that we are going to use a uh, passive boy, we are going to use the past participles. Okay, mark with a P those sentences which will go into passive. For example, someone will drive you to the airport. Let me show you an example in, a, in an easy one. Let, let me stop sharing this. I'm going to... Let me see right here, it's gonna be. Okay. Okay, right here it's gonna be. Okay, take a look at this. We are going to use the passive voice to emphasize that the action are more important than the door. In parenthesis, we got the subjects. In la voz pasiva, se enfatiza que la acción es más importante que quien la hace. Look at the example and complete the sentences below. Ray is recognized as a prestigious company. Is this sentence in passive or active voice? Active voice. Mm, take a look at this. We have the form of B and we have past participle here. It's recognized as a prestigious company. Rex is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious companies. We are using the B form and the past participle of this pair too. Is rated. Every time that you see uh, a B four before the 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 bear in past participle, we are talking about passive. To say such a sentence is a passive boy, use the bear. What verb we are going to use? Do or be? Be. Every time that we are going to talk about passive boy, we are going to use do or be? Be. Okay, we are going be. to use be. Follow it by 
the present participle or past participle was the main part verb. Part. No, the past we, part. we are going to use the past. The past participle. Past participle. Okay. Past participle. It's a homework for you. You are going to do it by yourself. You are going to look uh, in your cell phone or computer, and I need that you take a look of uh, irregular verbs, and you are going to find out the list of verbs in present and simple past and past participle. And the only way that we can do in order to learn it is by heart. That means that we need to keep it in mind, repeat it over and over, over and over, until we keep it in mind. Do you know what is the expression learn it by heart? ¿Sabe lo que significa? Learn it by heart. Learning by? Heart. 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 Yeah. By heart, like heart. Oh. Aprendiendo. Duro, fuerte. No, it's a, it's a aprendaselo de memoria. Learn it by heart. Ah, okay. Yeah. Learning by heart. Yeah, learning by heart. Hard de duro, teacher. No, no, hard de, like the muscle that we have here. Ah, okay. It's an idiomatic expression. Es una expresión idiomática que al traducirla no tiene nada que ver. Como dice, aprende el tela de corazón. No, no tiene la traducción, no pega. Learning by heart. Yeah, learn, learning by heart. This is memorize. What the meaning in Spanish, teacher? Would you repeat, please? Aprenda de lo de memoria. All right, thank you. Yeah. Okay, exercise number five. Complete the statement using the passive voice of the verb in parentheses. And compare your answer with a pattern. Okay, uh, you are going to solve it by yourself. And after three minutes, I'm going to call you by name and you are going to tell me the answer. Okay, you have uh, three minutes in order to solve it. You can write it down, the sentences in your, in your notebook and try to solve it. You got an example, number one say our company is considered the best manufacturer of broom in the country. You are going to work on a sentence two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, do it. And keep in mind that if we are using passive voice, we are going to use a before that could be am, is, or are, and the verb, you need to switch it into past participle. Para hacer el pasivo, necesitamos una forma del be que puede ser is, am, or are, dependiendo del nombre que esté antes. Y el verbo lo vamos a usar en pasado participio. Los verbos tienen tres formas. Presente, pasado simple y pasado participio, los que en español terminan en ado, edo o ido. Dice, yo he trabajado. Ese trabajado es pasado participio. ¿Sí? Yo trabajé, pasado simple. Yo trabajo, presente, simple. ¿Ok? ¿Question? No questions? No. No. I'm gonna give you a hand, okay? Number two, our products. Mm -hmm. Is this word yes. is in plural? I need to have a, a B form right here. Our, our uh, okay, our rather. products. Are are rated 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 as five of the most popular in the United States. 
Okay, number three. Our customer service agents are perceived as the most efficient in the sector. Okay, go ahead for the next one. Okay, keeping working uh, and I'm going to take a look of the attendance. Rosa Esperanza. Present. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Enara. Enara Inés. Presente. Present. Present. Okay, Gutierrez Sánchez. Tuvo un problema con la máquina, está queriendo ingresar nuevamente, teacher. Okay, no problem. Yesenia, Karen Yesenia. Present. Okay, uh, Ana Daisy. Present. Diana Carolina. Present. Wilfredo Guardado. Present teacher. Okay, Leslie Fernandez. Present teacher. Francisco Javier Alvarenga. No. Edward Ademir. No. Christian Obdulio. Alexis Antonio. Present teacher. Felicita Cruz. Helen Maria. Ana Roxana. Present teacher. Fausto. Present teacher. Carla Marielos. Stephanie Menjibar. Menjibar Contreras. Eliani. Present. Walter Mauricio. Present. Y Manuel Alejandro. Okay. Present. Okay. Enough time in order to finish the exercises, okay? Who wants to read the number three? Okay, we already did, okay. Number four, volunteers. The brand is so as the leader in the energy drinks make it. Mm, what about the past participle, the verb C? C? Ah, okay. The brand the is, brand seen, is seen, seen as the leader, as a leader in the energy drinks market. Market. Okay. Market. Yeah, market. Number five. Excuse me, teacher. Okay, tell me. Uh, in the way, uh, the question, 
the question for the brand is sin sin yeah c e e n okay sin as the leader in the energy drinks maker okay number 5 the company is now is now a, is a major produce, producer 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 of shoes in the no sé cómo se dice in the region region region, region. region. Yeah. okay region. number number 6 all better vegetables are are rated as the last contaminate of the national market. Okay, our vegetables, vegetable, our vegetables are rated as the least contaminated for the national markets. Vegetable, vegetable, vegetable. All base, all vegetable are rated. As the ¿cómo se dice? least or less? At the least contaminated. Uh, as the least contaminated of the national market. The national market, okay. Oh, okay. List. Okay, any any question about this? In exercise six, it's your turn. You need to write down a five line paragraph about a reputation of your company, but you need to use passive voice. Remember that you need to use passive voice. How you are going to do it? We are going to do teacher a sentence using the passive voice about our company. Yeah, the, 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 the paragraph about your company. Okay. Okay, in, in exercise number five, you have some example of how you can uh, create your sentences, our company, my company, yeah? Our products, our customer, the brand, the company. Imagine that you work in a company that uh, may choose, you are going to say our shoes are considered one of the best in El Salvador. Could be all depend on the, the company that you are thinking about it. Thank you. 
Any question about this kind of sentences talking about passive voice? Imagine that somebody work in a dog. You are going to say uh, a dog is considered one of the most old companies in El Salvador. Okay, I guess that some of you uh, already finished writing something about the passive voice. Who want to share with me your paragraph or sentences? Hey, teacher. Okay. Yeah. I am going to try my paragraph about, okay, about okay. voice. Passive, passive voice. Uh, hi, where do you work? And what does company do? Okay. Uh, my company, in my company, we make extend, extended legs for kids and for men. Okay. What about the quality in your company? Okay. Um, I work in front of the loom. And I am going to explain that uh, Fruit of the Loom is recognized, recounts, recognized. As a best company, recognized as a best company around the world. Okay. And it recounts, uh, would you repeat? Recognized. You... Recognized. Okay. It's recognized for its excellent quality. And okay, nice. It's a, it's a guarantee that the company offers. All the all our customers. Okay. 
Okay. Thank you. Somebody okay. else? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. My company is now for selling good quality closet. Is also preferred because are not expensive. Okay, it's also preferred. Nice. Continue. And uh, that's it. Uh -huh. <laughs> sí, that's it. Okay, okay, but nice. Okay, okay somebody else? Me? Okay, go ahead. Uh, my company is known for its excellent customer service and it is uh, considered. No sé si se pronuncia bien así. Consider, is considered. Is considered. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Consider for, for your food deliver, delivery service. For its delivery service. It is also known for its good products. Okay. Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, sir. I consider I consider my company have a good reputation for the quality of the all products and the treatment to the personnel. What's more, the benefit the uh, the business. Okay. In order to use passive voice, you are going to say, my company is considered, okay. is considered, right. yeah? Okay. Remember that we are using a uh, passive voice. Okay, somebody else? Hello. Wake up, wake up. Okay. okay, Roxana, go ahead, Roxana. Sorry, we can hear you. You need to unmute your microphone. Hello, Roxana. Oh, sorry. Okay, start again, please. My company is considered. Is considered. Is considered. Is certified. Certified. Certified by by play to war. One in the seven. In the seven best a good. Um, war environment. Okay. Nice. Continue. Okay. What does it? On me. Okay. Somebody else? Okay, teacher. Okay, Eliani, go ahead. My company is hired experienced staff. Okay. Experienced um, staff. Excuse me? Experienced staff. Experienced staff. And my company is protect the rights of work workers but in this case you you could you repeat again please my company is protect protect is protected protective it's protected okay is protective the rights of co-workers okay Thank what you. else does it? Yes. 
Okay, thank you. Somebody else? Okay. Uh, my, me teacher. Okay, do it, Rosa. My company is considered certificate how have the best financier of country. Okay, repeat again, please. My company, my company is considered a certificate how the best financier of country. My company is considered the best certified of the best financial of country. Okay, financial of country. Okay. Somebody else? Yes. Me teacher. Okay, do it. My company is considered is, is considered the best in verification, inspection, and certification of region and x-ray service. Okay. That is the idea. Thank you. Okay. Somebody else? Somebody else? Hi, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, Carla. In, in, in my company is considered the best quality of product and the most access customer. Okay, nice. Only one? Do you have another one? That's it? Yes. Okay, thank you. So, Ariel? Who is missing? You know, she fault. Uh, Karen, Karen, I can see you. I can see your face. Please you, turn, turn on your camera, Karen. And me, teacher. Okay. Uh, my company is okay. My company is considered certified the quality perfect. Certified the quality, the quality perfect. Yes, uh, my company is considered uh, manufacturing the chair main kicks quality. Okay, I got you. Your idea. Okay, finish. Okay, somebody else? Somebody is missing? Who is missing? Who is missing? Ada. Hello, Ada. Are you there? Stephanie, I can see your face. I need a YouTube on your camera, please. And Karen. Karen, Karen. Okay, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. I need that all of you participate. You need to turn on your microphone.
Karen, I can hear you, I can hear you. Hey, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Do you read your sentences or paragraph that you have? No los he hecho, teacher. No lo entendí muy bien. Oh, Sorry. Okay. Lo que íbamos a hacer es hacer un párrafo usando usando a uh, usando a uh, passive voice usando voces pasivas como los ejemplos que ya vimos. Sí, sí, basado en lo de la, en lo de la, en lo de compañía y todo eso. ¿verdad? Yeah, yeah, based on the example that we have started. Sí. Lo Usando... que pasa es que a la, a la hora de conjugar, o sea, se me, no se me da mucho. Ah, eso. okay. Okay, no problem. Okay. Al momento que tengamos los 10 minutos de Asesoría privada, eh, eh, por favor, no olvide eh, tener en cuenta ese sí, tema para, okay. poderle, para poderle explicar, ¿sí? Ok, okay tra teacher. tranquilita, tranquilita, ok. ¿Son varios? Okay. Stephanie, are you there? No. Okay, we are going to take a look at the with the manual that we are using. Then we are going to see again the example that we have in exercise number five. Remember, take a look at the number one. Our company is considered, this is This is the passive voice. Nuestra compañía es considerada, a eso es lo que se le llama voz pasiva. Una forma del be más el pasado participio del verbo. Si fuera voz activa, diría que la compañía se considera como una de las mejores. Pero como estamos usando voz pasiva, es consider the best manufacturer of broom in the country. Remember that? As I told you before, you need to look for uh, Lisa's Regular and irregular verb chart. Necesitamos tener una, un cuadro de verbos regulares e irregulares para ver la diferencia entre el presente simple, pasado simple y pasado participio. Para que luego eh, pues podamos usarlo de esa manera. La única forma para aprendérselos es como las tablas de multiplicar de memoria pero a medida vamos avanzando en el tiempo uh, pues vamos a ir aprendiendo poco a poco ¿sí? ok uh, I, I would like to be sure If you understood this topic, tell me what what did you learn today? To make sentences, teacher, using the passive voice. Yeah, the passive I... voice. Okay, and how how we. We create a sentence using passive voice. 
we can create talking about anything about company about our life support yeah 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 but but talking about grammar what what do we need yeah, we yeah. have uh, we have to use the past participle verb after the verb to be after the the before before yeah remember that the be in present we can have a uh, am is or are all the pen and after that we are going to use the past participle of the verb yeah yeah Could you uh, give, give us an example referring to a company, but in passive voice? Passive voice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my company is recognized. Consider you recognize. Recognize as the best. Sewing underwear. Yeah. Okay. And the passive boy will be let me teach my my computer need char get char. Uh, that will be the passive boy. It, it recounts a uh, teacher. I, I have probably to pronounce yeah, yeah. it. Recognize it. Recognize <laughs> it. Recognize it. Recognize it. Recognized. Recognized. Uh, as the best around the world. Yeah. Yeah. OK. Teacher, sorry, I'm going. I need. I need to put char to my computer. Okay. Okay. Somebody else. Somebody else wants to give me uh, an example of spicy, spicy boys. Remember the passive boy. We can use it not only in present. We can use it in in different times but in this case we are talking about present hello hey teacher tell, tell me um my company uh, recognized the established, 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 Joe established uh, additional, additional benefits in the life. Okay. Um, I got your idea. Organizational climate. Okay. Remember that we need to pay a special attention to the B form and after that, the past participles, the verb. And uh, what we need to do is just to, as I told before, what we need is just to study the, the right way how to pronounce the, the verbs in present and past and past participle. But don't worry, we are going to learn it. In every class, you are going to learn something new. And at the end, you are going to be uh, in a better way, right? OK. OK, somebody else? Let's take a look at the, I need to show you only some part of my presentation. 
Let me see. Let me see this picture. Okay. My briefcase was stolen last night. This is talking about the past. What happened there? ¿Qué pasó ahí? My briefcase was stolen last night. Fue robado yeah. anoche. Yeah, what? Brace, brace case. My briefcase. Briefcase. Yeah. Briefcase, I don't remember what I mean. The briefcase is a uh, is something yeah. where you put all your papers. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. Or, or you, can, you, can, you, can put, you can put your computer, you can put your computer in your briefcase, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank yeah, this is this is a, a passy boy. Was stolen. Was stolen. Last nine. Yeah. Right here we are talking about about past. Let me see something out here. Okay. Take a look at this. The passive in present simple and past simple. And we have the form noun or pronouns plus to be talking about the V form and the past participle. Someone watches the car every day. Someone. What uh, someone watch? The car is watched every day. This is the passive voice. The car is watched every week. El carro es lavado cada semana. Semana. A eso es lo que se le llama la voz pasiva. En cambio aquí está el agente. Mire, a alguien lava el carro todas las semanas. Aquí ya no se menciona el, 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 el agente, el que hace la acción ya no se menciona. Cuando se usa la voz pasiva, ya la persona que hace la acción no es necesario mencionarla. They made this television in Japan. What they made in Japan? Television. These televisions television. are, are made, made in Japan. Japan. This word made is the past participle of make. This is in present and this is in past participle. Someone painted the house last week. What was painting? The house. The house was painted. The house was painted last, last week. week. Remember, we are talking about past right here. They taught the children to be polite. What they talk to the children? The children. The, the children. children were the taught children. to be polite. Wow. Okay. Now we have different examples. Sure. Tell me. Can we see this information in the manual? Mm, no, this is a uh, extra information. I'm okay. Yeah, uh, you don't have it in your manual. I okay. can share it. I can share it with you if you want. If you can send that example to practice, it would be idea. Yeah, yeah. And also, I'm going to ask uh, 
to my supervisor and coordinator if, if I can share uh, a book with you because uh, I think that you need to have a, a kind of grammar book in order that you can study something else. Okay. And yeah. Teacher, okay. Uh, okay. Tell me. I, I, today I tried to to enter to the homework, but I can do it. Oh really? Yeah. Uh, I don't know the, who can uh, help me tomorrow to to start to to make the homework. Homework. Oh, I I. I see. Can we text in the chat? Yeah, yeah, of course. To, yeah, to just, for help. Just, just let me know uh, when you got free time and I'm going to help you. And all okay. of you can do it. Just okay. send me a message and I'm going to help you. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay. Okay, what about this example that I have here? Complete the sentence in the passive using is, are, was aware. Remember that was aware is the past of is and are. And a word for from the box. We have ground, cut, dot, locked, send, explain, kill, given, built, driven. Right, draw, driven. Example, his father was killed in the worm. This is a possible in, in the past. The grass is, we need to, we need to have one of these. Which one? Cut. The grass is cut or is it's never cut. cut in the winter. In the winter. Yep. When this house, when which one I'm going to use it? When built. But we are missing, we are missing a word. When, when built. We are going to yes. use one, one of these words. Is, are, when, was, where? When are. is. When? when? Are. 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 No. No. Remember uh. that we are talking when, about past. When is, when is built? When are? When are? This house is. When? Remember that this one is plural. Plural. Our. When. 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 Are. No. Always. Are. Is always. Is, is always. No, no is because this is plural. Are. The gate. The gate. Are. The gate are. 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 Always. Are. Are. Always. Locked. 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 Yeah. Locked. With a T sound. Locked. Locked. Not. Not. At four thirty. At four thirty. At four thirty. Okay. Now tell me in your own words. Give me an example of passive voice. No, not only just talking about company. You can talk about your life, or uh, you can use a different topic. But try to do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tell me. Hello, hello. Hey, 
think, think. What is all that, please? Would you repeat, teacher? Yeah, what I said is that I need that you create a, a passive voice sentence, uh, but not only just focus on companies. You can use it uh, even in the daily activities. For example, somebody could say, I clean my house. My house it is clean. Means. Yeah, yeah, you know. Every day. Yeah, my house is clean every day. That is passive voice. I, I wash my car every yeah. weekend. Yeah. The, the car is washed. It's washed. Washed it every weekend. Washed. Watched every weekend. Every weekend, okay. Okay. I comb my hair every day. I comb my, I cut my hair. I comb, I comb, I comb my hair. I comb, comb. I comb my hair every day. Oh, it is, it is. What about difficult? Passport? It is difficult for me, teacher, because I, I don't have enough. But. <laughs> Don't worry about that. <laughs> that is a joke. Yeah, yeah, uh, I know. Um, my, my hair, my hair, my hair is comes is come every day. Every day. Okay, nice. Okay. Somebody else. Somebody else. Wake up! Wake up! We are almost done. I cook my dinner. Yeah. Impossible, boy. My dinner. My dinner. Uh, is cooked. Is cooked. Right. Cooked. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay, nice, nice. Somebody else? Me? No, somebody else. Uh, okay. Thank you. I... I take a shower in the morning every day. Okay, what about, uh, what about in passive boy? I I have no I a shower a shower in the morning is is taken is, is taken Every day. Every day. Okay. Con Z, con Z. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so somebody else? Yeah, but the, the most important is that you participate. And that way you are going to improve. But don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Well, okay. Let me see the time that we have now. Five after 10, okay. Well, thank you very much. We are going to continue working tomorrow. We are going to okay, finish sure. today because uh, I need to continue with uh, five people that I'm going to attend today. I hope that the five people get ready all the question about the topic that they need a extra explanation. And as soon as I finish this video conference, I'm going to start after two minutes. Okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, okay. teacher. Good night. It was a pleasure to see you again. Try to practice, night, try to teacher. read. Try to investigate. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.